Today we're going to begin working with the distributive property. As we work through equations where we have multiplication, we're going to be able to demonstrate how we can apply the distributive property to solve those. The distributive property looks like this. Okay, we have a outside of a set of parentheses with b plus c on the inside. When we distribute the a to the inside of the parentheses, we're going to use multiplication. So a times b and then a times c. Can today we're going to apply this property to other multiplication problems before we get into how we apply it to using letters in algebra. In this first set of teacher examples, I'm going to show you how to complete this table using the distributive property. So in column one, we're going to be given a multiplication problem, and I'm going to try to show the distributive property by taking the second value and putting it inside the parentheses. So the 33 on the outside is going to stay 33. And then the 12, I'm going to break up into two pieces. So 12 can be written as 10 plus 2. In column 3, I'm going to distribute that 33. So I'm writing this as two different multiplication problems. So 33 would be multiplied by the 10, and then I would add that to 33 multiplied by the 2. In column 4, I'm going to do out that multiplication. So 33 times 10 is 330, and 33 times 2 is 66. And then I show the final answer as 330 plus 66 is 396. Okay, so again, the point of this exercise is to work through showing the distributive property to get the answer. I'm less concerned about you telling me this equals 396 and more concerned with watching you break it down. We can use a distributive property also using subtraction. So, in column two, instead of having plus on the inside, I'm going to rewrite this using subtraction. So eight will still be on the outside, and I have 34 here. So if I went up to 40, minus six. And you could choose other values, but I would go to the closest rounded number and use that. Okay, so. I am going to column 3, which will have me show out the multiplication. So if I distribute the 8, it's 8 times 40 minus 8 times 6. Okay. In column 4, I will show out the multiplication. So 8 times 40 would be 320 minus 8 times 6 is 48. And then again, I can get my answer. So I'm going to do 320 minus 48, and I'll get 272. Again, the purpose of this table is not to be worried about getting that final answer and to be more concerned with showing out that distributive property. All right. So, in examples like this, when we're moving away from the table and the steps, I am going to show the distributive property using a diagram. So we use our area model to help us draw the diagram. And so our area model is I'm going to draw one big rectangle. Okay, and if we are using the area model, we'll put the first number here on the side and then again, I'm going to break 34 up into 30 and 4. And so to show the distributive property on the inside, I'm going to show that this would be 16 times the 30 
and this would be 16 times the 4. And I'm not looking for you to get the answer, I just want you to show me how you could break this expression up into its area model form, just like this. Finally, the last part of today's lesson is piecing it all together. Okay, we're going to be taking an expression like this, and I, again, I want you to rewrite it using the distributive property and solve using the distributive property. Okay, so you're not going to just do 17 times 28. We need to start by rewriting it in the, the distributive property form. Okay, again, to do that, we take that first value and we're putting it on the outside of a parentheses. And then we need to break up the 28. Okay, so it's easy to break this up into its tens component and its ones component using addition. Okay. If you wanted to, you could break 28 up into other possibilities. So 28 could be written as 26 plus 2. You could also use subtraction. Okay, so I could do 30 minus 2. Okay, so you're choosing those values. Again, I think if you make it easy on yourself, I'm breaking this up into its tens component and its ones component. Okay. So that step is showing the distributive property. And then when I evaluate, because I want to solve this time, I'm going to do out the multiplication by taking the 17, multiplying it by both the numbers on the inside. So 17 times 20, as well as 17 times 8. For this step today, you are welcome to use a calculator. So if I do 17 times 20, I get 340. And 17 times 8 is 136. Again, these are being added together. And so then I can get my final answer is 340 plus 136 is 476. I really want to make sure we understand today our focus is not on getting to 476 as the right answer, but working through the problem with the distributive property. So make sure you're showing the steps as modeled here in this problem, and then get your final answer there.